The two message settings that I want to cover are importance and sensitivity. First of all, importance. When I send off an email like I have here to Carrie Heffernan about the Software Expo 2010, this is really important. I want to make sure that I flag it so when she gets it, it's the first thing she does is open up that email and take care of this. To set the importance, you want to come up here on the Message tab over to the Options group, and there it is, High Importance and Low Importance. By default, there's no importance attached to it. So when I send the email, a little indicator is going to be included on the email on her end that will have a blue down arrow to say, ah, this isn't that important, go ahead and read it, but when you get a chance, go ahead and sign us up for the Software Expo 2010. If I change my mind, I can go ahead and click on it again, and it removes the importance. Let me go ahead and mark it high importance, and then I'll send it off this way. Now, before I send it off, let's say that I don't want anybody else to know about us attending the Software Expo for whatever reason. If I want to make this confidential or change the sensitivity of the email, all I have to do is click on the Options Expandable Dialog Box button. You'll notice here you can also change the importance as well. There it is high. Here it is high. I can change it to low. When I close out, it'll update there, as you'll see in just a second. But the second thing I want to talk about for the message settings is the sensitivity. Right now it's normal. The other options are personal, private, or confidential. We'll mark it confidential and click close. It updated, it went from high to low, and then when I'm finished, all I have to do is go ahead and click send. Now to see what this looks like, I'm going to have Carrie send us a message marked low priority and confidential. And there it is. In fact, if you notice here in the indicator column, red exclamation point means it's high priority from Carrie. She sent it earlier on to me on the May 15th. So that means I got to get right to it, open up the email, see what's so important. This is low priority, meaning, well, when you get a chance, go ahead and look through it, or go ahead and open it up quickly, but when you get a chance to perform any requests in there, it's not a big deal, just like you say, if you can get to it or not. Now, this email was also marked as confidential. The only place you're going to see it marked confidential is when you double-click and open up the email. Up here at the top in the info bar, it says, please treat this as confidential. So, if you're reading this email and you notice in the info bar is to treat it confidential, you don't want anybody looking over your shoulder. But if you're in a workplace where there's nobody around and you finish reading it, you still want to keep note of this because you don't want to forward this on to anybody else or talk about it during lunchtime with any coworkers or any other time for that matter. Because again, this was marked to keep as confidential. Of course, the other way you would see this is if you had your reading pane turned on. For example, up here, click on the View menu, go down and to Reading Pane, and then over to the right and click on Write. And you can see when I have this email selected, over to the right, it's got the info bar. Please treat this as confidential as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. View to Reading Pane to Off. Next, I want to go ahead and forward this on, let's say, to another coworker, this email here. She says, treat it as confidential, but let's pretend that it's no longer confidential. Or I already talked to her, and I can go ahead and send this on to somebody else to help me with this project. So again, when it comes to forwarding, go ahead and select the message here, click on the forward button, and then notice up at the top it hasn't changed anything, it's still at low importance. When I click on the options expandable dialog box, still mark confidential. You can go ahead and change that and say it's normal. Everybody knows about it, there's nothing confidential. Change it from low to normal and then close out. And then go ahead and type in who it's to, type in your message and send it off. Again, just keeping in mind that anytime you forward on something to somebody else, it's going to keep those message settings tied to it unless you turn them off. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.